Well, everybody, it is Wednesday, May 19th. Um, uh, on the one hand, it's, it's kind of a tough day because this would have been my father's birthday today had he, it is still his birthday, but he's, he passed a num few years back. Um, so thinking about him, but then on the positive side, today is Marcello and Rosano's second birthday. The squirts, the little knuckleheads, are two years old today. It's hard to believe it's it's gone by this quickly already. And they just it seems like you know they just arrived as you know like eight ten week old puppies, and all of a sudden here they are two years old. So I'm gonna go order them a cake. There's a pet store, pet shop here in uh, Pasadena that makes these really great dog cakes. So I'm gonna go over there and have them uh, put their names on one and. Uh, and we will celebrate their birthday. It's really fun. I, they, I always like set, we set the cake on the, either the ground or the table and then watch them just go at it. It's, it's really, it's a lot of fun. And uh, just a ton of things to do today. I've been busy all morning. And I was thinking about um, music once again. Oh, and had a great date yesterday. We had really a good time. I put up that video of, of the um, Stag Street Studios. And um, we had a great time. God, every time I get a chance to play with Vinny, it's just a trip, man. That guy is like so good. It's just, it's unbelievable. Um, and working with Nico behind the console and Larry King's great to work with. So we had a great time yesterday. And uh, I'll probably do a, next week, the uh, immediate family goes into the studio. So I'll give you a studio tour and some stuff then. And chances are I'm going to have to be doing the live stream from from the studio so uh, i'll set up in there and get everybody to come back and maybe this time i'll get nico bolas who engineers all this stuff and mixes it and that goes for in for mastering all this stuff to stick his his mug in and say hi uh, get the whole gang in there so um i was just thinking about you know music and then i i got a call last night from brad cole which i missed i'm going to call brad back today but it got me thinking about how much i miss Brad and Daryl and all the whole gang on, on Phil Collins's band, you know, it's, it's, it breaks my heart to think that we may never, you know, see each other play, at least play again. I mean, I, I hope I see, I see the guys and the gals, but um, it's just weird when you've been a family for so many decades and then it kind of draws to a close. So I'm not quite sure, but, but having uh, Brad call, I'm going to call him back. It got me thinking about what a great time we had uh, doing Daryl Sturmer's um, first solo album uh, called Steppin' Out, which was released back in 1988. And there was a studio um, uh, just um, in Wisconsin where Daryl lives in Milwaukee. And uh, it was, I, I forget who owns it. I, I had that information. Um, but it was on this big complex, but they had this great studio. And we went up there and the band was just Daryl, myself, Brad Cole doing all the keyboard, synth, piano and all that. And Mark Torrell playing drums and, uh, and doing percussion overdubs on it. We had Don Murray co-producing with Daryl on it and engineering the, pro uh, the project. Don's a great engineer. Um, and, uh, and we just had such a great time. It was one of these things that we just went in and just nailed everything. It only took a couple of days to do this album. And I posted a couple of songs um, way back, like in the mid-300 videos. Uh, but there were other songs on this. I just thought I'd you know, just enjoy some really great camaraderie today. Um, amazing guitar playing. I think Daryl's still one of the most underrated guitar players I've ever worked with, even though, I mean, people know about him because he, all his years he's been with Genesis and doing Phil solo stuff. And he was with Jean-Luc Ponty and um, all kinds of Gino Vanelli, all, all kinds of stuff. But I always see these lists of like, oh man, here's the hottest guitar players. And I always go, man, Daryl should be like way up there, even though I think those lists are all crap. You know, it's like nonsense. I see the bass player list and it's always like the same bunch of people on there and I go, God, I know so many great bass players that don't get the any accolades whatsoever, but they still go in every day and do amazing, amazing work. Um, so enough of that. Um, but I just thought I'd play a few of a couple of Daryl songs again today and just sort of 
sit back and, and just dig what a great time we had in the studio uh, together and what a great uh, composer he is. Um, his, you know, a lot of times you hear uh, um, instrumental things and the, uh, the hook of the song just is, is so minimal because it's just there to set up the guy blowing and, and soloing like crazy. Uh, where Daryl actually conceptually really puts together great melodies. It was kind of the same thing when I did Bernie Williams from the New York Yankees album. I mean, he's a beautiful guitarist, but he also really understands melodic concepts and uh, and puts together you know like memorable uh, hooks. And one of the songs I'm gonna I'm gonna play of Daryl's. I mean, he wrote this as an instrumental, and then he sent it off to Phil. Collins and Phil wrote lyrics to it and it and it ended and it was on the um No Jacket Required album. So um yeah, so there's it's all kinds of stuff. So l let's just dig dig some Daryl, Mark, Brad, and and a bass player. Here we go. This is called 20th Century Lady. <laughs> Coral is such a good drummer.
a great guitar player. And there is such, it was such a joy all these years just to be standing on stage next to Daryl. You know, we goofed on each other so much during the shows, had so much fun playing, and he was pretty much my main hang on the road. Daryl and I would go out all the time, and it was Daryl and I, or Daryl, myself, and Brad were the, the general um, hang guys. We'd go to dinner together, and, uh, you know, we all shared the same dressing room, and uh, and just spent so much time together. I, I love the guy, and... Uh, I'm excited that it looks like Genesis is going to be back on the road again. So it'll, it, it's I, I, I miss, I wish I could be a part of that, but that Mike Rutherford and Daryl trade off bass duties uh, in the uh, in the band. So, guys, I miss you. Okay, this one, uh, this is the song that, that Daryl wrote. I did this um, instrumentally. We ended up cutting it after the tour. Um, but but he wrote this and then he sent it off to Phil Collins and Phil Collins um, ended up putting words to it and it ended up on the um, No Jacket Required album. And on this version of it, um, uh, let's see, who was it? Uh, oh, Gary, what was his name? Bar Barnacle, I think was his last name, B A R. B-A-R-N-A-K-L-E. I think Gary Barnacle, he plays sax on this. Sorry, I, I'm trying to remember this. Um, this is called I Don't Want to Know. And uh, this was a great, this is a great song as an instrumental. And it also worked like a bandit when Phil wrote the lyrics to it. This was a fun tune to play live with Phil. As soon as this thing loads up here, we will jump. <laughs> Frankenstein on this album.
it was really fun on uh, on the No Jacket Required tour. It was the most stripped down band Phil ever had, and Daryl and I were the background singers on it also. And we got to sing that, that it was really fun. Um, and Brad Cole just is such a beautiful keyboard player. I mean, he was, he's a great soloist, but then he knows how to create textures and pads and stuff. This was really such an ideal little group, you know, and Mark Torrell. I've, this is the only stuff I ever recorded with Mark Torrell. And I wish I would have had a chance to work with him more. He's just a great drummer and very much uh, in, the, in the Phil Collins pocket. Um, the, the way he played. And it was one of those things when we got in the studio to do this after having done the No Jacket Required tour. And I just, and he, he and Daryl were old friends. And I just kind of looked at Daryl and said, wow, <laughs> this cat feels like we're still out there with Phil. You know, it's amazing. Um, so I'll give you one more tune here. This is called Anthem. And, uh, and if you want to check out the, the album, it's great. It's uh, Stepping Out is the title of it from 1988. I think it's on GRP is the label that it was on. And um, so let's just listen. I, I love listening to the, this stuff. It brings back such great memories of when we were in the studio doing this. I mean, I can, uh, once again, you know, I mean, for me, these are really interesting experiences because I close my eyes and I can really s still visualize the room and the whole experience and the vibe and everything that was going on during uh, this. Sometimes I can even see the restaurant and the meal that we had. Mm. I'm not going to get started on that. I'm getting too hungry here. So this is called Anthem.
real compositions, you know, melodic structure. It's great. So, stepping out, Daryl Sturmer, 1988. Uh, I am now going to go and I am going to order a birthday cake for Marcello and Rosano. Uh, so excited for them. They're just, they, they've been just a lifesaver during this pandemic just to have these two knuckleheads to look forward to every day. Uh, a house never feels empty when you've got a, some pups in it. So uh, I'm going to do that and I've got some stuff to go over, a bunch of stuff to do today. A couple of songs to do for people um, and reviewing a bunch of uh, the new stuff with uh, the immediate family because we're going to spend tomorrow rehearsing uh, just kind of boning up on the things we're going to start cutting next week when we hit the studio on Monday. So um, lots to do. I'm going to wish everybody a wonderful day. Take, take good care. Just stay safe out there. Things are slowly getting better for some people and things are not doing very well for people in other places because God knows this is a, a global issue and there are parts of the, a lot of parts of this world that still are yet to be able to come to grips with what's going on and my heart's with them because this is really some some difficult times so take good care um, I'm still getting really nice notes from doctors and nurses you know thanking me for these shout outs because they said man people don't know there's the the job isn't over yet by any means. This is this is still a difficult time, especially for those people that are on the front lines. So thank you all once again, and I will see everybody tomorrow. It's time to time to celebrate. So I'll, I'll take good care, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye bye. Oop, oop, that might be Marcello and Rosano calling to go. Where's our cake? They're insistent little fellas. Okay, talk to you later. Bye bye.